hi hello welcome to my video welcome back if you've been here before and hi if you are new i'm pixie and today's video is chaotic all over the place and it's just like a big brain fuzzy kind of build um there's lots of terraforming i hate terraforming i really really hate terraforming and i end up doing one from one thing to the other to the other so it is chaotic but that's exactly how my brain works uh, while i'm here i have nearly reached 400 i might have reached 400 by the time i've put this up oh my god where have you all come from like and i've started getting quite a few comments and people are amazing and you're so kind to me um and believe me every single person who subs to me makes my day it's it's not like oh another one it's like oh my god there is another person who wants to watch this i started this channel back in january after months and months of people telling me to do it because i have a, an eye for animal crossing i guess i used to get lots of compliments They're like oh you should, should post it on instagram so i posted it on instagram and they were like, just buy a stream card thing. So I forgot even what they're called. A card capture, there we go. And the card capture that I got was super duper cheap. Um, if I can, I'll link it down also in the description if any of you guys want to film what you're doing. Because I know some people like to just film it so they can keep it and not put it on YouTube. But yeah, I January, I think, was when I started. And... It's now August and there's 400 of you. It's so insane to me. And I have decided moving forward that when I reach 500, if I reach 500, I will start streaming live. Maybe to start off with once a week because I do have my children with me a lot. I get two weekends a month away from them so on those weekends I'm very happy to, to stream like Friday Saturday um, if any of you are interested in that that is I <laughs> I'm gonna be ready to stream to nobody it's been one of my biggest fears my friend has said for a while that I should get into it because they think that I've just got that sort of personality where I can just chat to people which is true I am an introverted extrovert, I think that's like the expression. I'm happy with my own company, I spend a lot of time alone because I'm happy that way and then I'm happy to talk to people. Um, I do get, you know, a bit shy in person, especially I think I have kind of like a cheery disposition that people feel safe that they can talk to me about stuff which is fine everybody needs to talk about things sometimes and I'm happy to be a sounding board for anybody but at the same time I have like a very small amount of in real life friends and doing this I'm hoping that if I do stream I get to make some friends with you guys I have noticed that some of you are the same that comment and I appreciate that and I can't wait to get to know you all better. But yeah, I think when I reach 500, I'm going to stream. It's going to be scary, but exciting. And even if I stream to one person, at least we can have a chat and you know, you can talk to me and my stream slash my YouTube channel slash my videos of everybody literally everybody um we're <laughs> i'm a big supporter in anything <laughs> kind of thing obviously nice things so you know we're open to lots of things in this channel and i'd like you guys i'm just rattling on now see i get to a stage where i get like blah blah <laughs> Um, and I'm hoping that maybe if I have someone to talk to whilst I stream, that'll be really, really fun and nice to do. But on today's build, as you can see, chaotic, absolutely chaotic. I decided that I wanted to make a village area sort of like if you 
For instance, you live in the UK and I think in a few European places, to be fair, we have beautiful little villages and behind the villages, especially where I live, from my bedroom, I can see miles and miles of fields and like little hills and little cliffs and things. So we have, I don't live in one of these houses. I wished I lived in one of these kind of houses. They have places where all the houses are gathered together but they're gathered on like a hill so there's like a house on top of a house on top of a house and that's sort of what I wanted to do for this and I was like how do you make a hill in Animal Crossing I mean you can make a hill but because they're all cliffs but they're all sort of mushed together I think it gives the idea of that kind of style because in the villages that have houses on the hills and things like this they're the ones that have farms nearby and obviously this island is my farm core island don't worry I'm still working on trying to get a second switch so I can do the I think I'd do norm core slash the 30 day challenge that froggy crossings is doing but yeah so the reason I'm saying this is chaotic is as you can see I'm doing lots of terraforming I hate ter I hate terraforming and at the minute my controllers have really bad drift because they're battered <laughs> and we know that switch controllers don't last very long which is infuriating because how much we spend on them well they last but they don't last without drift overly long but because of drift and the fact that i hate terraforming this took hours and when i mean hours i mean over two days six hours maybe um and i go from little area to little area but just picture what I'll do is if I can find a picture I'll pop it up um I live near a place called Matlock Bath in Derbyshire and they have like their housing is all up on cliffs and it looks stunning and that's where this idea is from so I end up moving all of the houses here except for Marina who obviously gets her own space and currently Fang he has the little house over the mini farm we've made because even though i've already made a farm on this island i am going to make a big giant farm um so i'm going to do sort of similar to my first build just bigger and yeah so we move all the houses here i end up start decorating punchy's house <laughs> and then oh no i decorate cherry's house sherry cherry sherry surely it's sherry because the dog's called cherry anyway I start decorating her house and all I have at the minute is flowers so I move on <laughs> and then I start decorating Punchy's house and then I move on and I end up decorating Fauna's house which at the minute is nowhere near this hill uh that's just how chaotic my brain works and yeah so if you guys ever when I start streaming because <laughs> I think I think I'd like to stream this is sort of how my brain works. Maybe talking to people will give me some sort of structure. But yeah, uh, I also, I am trying my best to chat more in videos. It's, it's not that it's hard. I'm just, a, I'm an introvert extrovert, as I think I've said already. And I'm like, I always feel if I talk too much that I come across not narcissistic but you know like people who love themselves and I am definitely not that person uh but that's something I need to deal with but yeah this is <laughs> oh I've talked for a long time now I hope you guys like it but uh, yeah this build I say this build's turned out well it's nearly finished and the next video I'm just gonna go and finish the yards that I haven't done I end up building sort of a community allotment a tiny little allotment which again I'm assuming you have in other countries which is just basically like a garden a community garden there we go but you have your own like bits where you do all your growing of vegetables and flowers like I know what I'm talking about I'm horrendous I've got the most incredible massive garden my gardens as big as a football pitch a bit skinnier and I'm not a gardener, so there's so much like potential waste. So I pretend to garden in Animal Crossing because it's easier than doing it in real life. But I would like to, for next year, try and plant some things. My mum's really good at gardening, so I might talk to my mum. 
whilst also trying to persuade if I can borrow her switch. Mom, if you're watching this, um, please. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if my mum's watching, but if she is, she'll probably text me like, no. <laughs> Which is fair, because my mum also plays. Um, I just need to buy another one, especially as this channel's growing, but as we know, they're so expensive. I need new controllers before I buy another one, because the drift is killing me. And yeah, so can you see that I gradually add more and more, and it looks completely different to this at the end. I'm not quite sure how I got to this stage. I'm watching it myself and I can't remember how I got from here to sort of the end. But yeah, it's... Uh, I, I do enjoy this build. I've got to finish it. I currently have that on OBS waiting for me to finish this voiceover, to be fair. Um, I think I've still got like 10 minutes to go. I'm really sorry this video is going to be so long because there's so much terraforming. Uh, but I have spoken for, according to this, 12 minutes. And I think I'm at my limit of speaking to you guys. But I just want to say thank you so much for like 400 of you. Nearly 400. I, I'm not sure. At the minute it's nearly, when I put this up, it could be 400. It's so close. Um, I appreciate every single one of you. And I can't wait to get to know you guys better when I do start streaming. Because I'm going to stream on YouTube. I might move to Twitch at some point. But for now, when I stream, it will be YouTube. Um, yeah. So, and I might even look at making a Patreon. Just, I don't know what you do on Patreon. I just hear lots of people have Patreons where if you want to support the channel, that's fine. But I don't know how I do that. And that's not happening yet. So don't worry. I'm the worst at receiving gifts and things so that'll be something I have to deal with in the future potentially but yeah I'm gonna go because I think I've I, I've talked my, my throat started to hurt it's the most I've talked <laughs> and I don't want to bore you guys so yeah I think I'm gonna go for now enjoy the terraforming there is a lot if you like these kind of videos give it a like subscribe I think I said in the last video even though I've got nearly 400 amazing subscribers, 65% of you watch my videos and don't subscribe and that's fine. You don't have to subscribe. I'm grateful for the views. But yeah, if you want to, then feel free. And yeah, I'll uh, I'll pop back in to explain what's happening in when I start building Fauna's building. I don't know how this turned out to be mainly focused on Fauna, but that's how my brain works. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll go and I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, enjoy!
hi, it's me again, uh, and we're on the fauna part of the build. At this stage, obviously, I've added more of the houses together, even the house at the bottom. I, I can't remember which villager has that house. I'm gonna assume it's Cookie, because it's the same house as Marina. Well, their like, initial starting home, but obviously I've changed Marina's now. Uh, Fauna's house actually is really really nice but I do change it I sort of make all these houses very similar even though I'm not keeping necessarily keeping any of them I just want you guys to see for the build and then when I do have my forever villages I will just change their houses to the exact same that's here but yeah I decided to give her like a really cute pumpkin patch uh, they did grow just to one because I forgot to water them but what I've done is for future videos I've taken out all the pumpkins except for a couple, I've left them as one and I've watered them so some will have two, some will have three etc. And then it's behind Fauna's house that I decided to make an allotment, um, what did I say it was like a community garden thing? Uh, I love the idea of this, I wish I could garden but it's, I just don't enjoy it. <laughs> I enjoy it on Animal Crossing but not in real life and my garden is huge and I, it's just too hard to maintain for just me. Maybe when my children are a bit older they can help out and things but at the minute it's just it's a massive garden and I know we're lucky to have such a big garden but it's very daunting isn't it when there's just one of you but yeah after this bit I think I pop around behind here and I start like putting these little paths down that I've got. The stones, the stones aren't actually a path, I just searched stones in the um, online design. Oh my god. Honestly, I'm just so sorry. I I, <laughs> I struggle with words. <laughs> yeah, here we go. So like, I just add these really cute little stone things. I'm not 100% sure of the fence like that. I like how I have fenced up like Fauna's house, but also then obviously you have to go all the way around. So all this area here is what, initially I was gonna put a fountain down and I thought, no, that's not overly farm core, I don't think. So I went with a vegetable patch. And like I say, I'm adding these stones and then I go to continue the path after building this little community bit. And it's just, it's the wrong path. So I searched for it on Pinterest. I just, I think I just searched farm core on Pinterest. And yeah, you'll see it. I've left it specifically in this video so you guys can get the MA code for it. So if you pause it in a minute, you'll see what the code is. And I think I've favorited it anyway, in case anyone asks me. And it's just this cute path. They also have a really sweet winter one, which obviously I love a winter island. Uh, that unfortunately you guys can't see that because that's what jingle was and then i redid jingle to be on spring island and yeah but how beautiful is this path this path is absolutely gorgeous and it's so different from the other one so i but they sort of match and again i leave all of that up there i just end up concentrating on this bit and i think it's because i'd got to a stage where i'd been working on this for hours and my brain was mushy and i was like right i'm just gonna put down what i have it just happened to turn out really well. Um, this is me making the community garden. I have now, see behind these two houses, I'm pointing, you can't see me. <laughs> behind these two houses here, I have now built it all up. It's all up off the ground because I want this village to go higher, as we've been talking about. So these two houses don't have a garden on the back. They have this cute little side garden, so I've given Chrissy a little patch. Raymond's got nothing, but I'm gonna give him some bits and bobs, I think. But yeah, I, this is it. This is the end of the build. Well done, you guys, for getting through it. Uh, thank you so much. I think this is beautiful. I always do it in like five o'clock in the morning because the, the music's five, six. The music people, but look how cute the houses are. Now, like I say, this build's turned out really well. And obviously I've done all the other side, <laughs> Cherry's bit, um, and I haven't filmed that. So I'm not, I'm not sure why I haven't filmed that. I might add that on. Uh, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this, guys. I hope you've enjoyed chatting to me. I mean, 
you hear me maybe you chatted away to me and if I've helped you any today then amazing but yeah even Raymond's house looks beautiful but anyway as always thank you so much for getting this far give it a like if you think it's worth liking pop the notification bell on if you do like it and then you'll get notified every time I upload but yeah hopefully oh subscribe 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 <laughs> hopefully I will see you in the next video fingers crossed okay bye okay I lied I'm back uh really really quickly just to show you I haven't decorated I, I don't know who's is the bottom they're confusing me but this is Sherry's garden nearly done I need to change the house and I need to add some bits and then we go on to Punchy's garden which I am going to do it better but yeah sorry I'm back but I'm going now okay <laughs> I will see you in the next video okay fingers crossed bye